I've always wanted to make things float, although to be honest, I've always wanted to make myself float, which apparently isn't going to be happening anytime soon, although I think they're getting close. But we are as close as we can get right now in the studio, because today we have a Gravity Challenger Magical Levitation platform, and it looks like Challenger spelled with a C today. Nice. So this platform actually looks very cool. It can levitate up to 350 grams of weight and it starts spinning around slowly while it's floating in the sky. It's actually pretty cool and really impressive. I'm super excited to try this thing out. So the box, not too much to see here. We got some really dark printing on it. A little bit of a damaged box to be honest, but it's what's inside the box that matters. I'm really excited to see what's inside too. Inside the box, we do have an operation manual for magnetically levitated products. If the floating object cannot be suspended about five minutes in the base is overheating turn down the power and pause the operation huh I didn't actually think about that but we do have some artwork here to tell us how to do things also inside the box we have the magnetically levitating pad itself so anything you can fit on here that weighs 350 grams or less should be able to float it's got some weight to it as well as a big old magnet right there as well as an AC power cord with a decent amount of length a microfiber cleaning cloth to keep things nice and shiny and the actual base, which is actually very shiny. It's got that piano black look, so we're definitely going to need to wipe this thing down from time to time. So taking a look at this thing, it's a pretty simple thing. I'm not sure. I guess this is just for heat dissipation because it's going to overheat possibly. I don't think there's a speaker built into this thing. We have the power port right here on the back along with an LED indicator light. And really that's it. A nice, shiny fingerprint magnet of a base. <laughs> This is a strong magnet, jeez! Oh, so all around it, it's sucking it in, but in the middle, it's where it's going to be suspended. It's pretty cool. And I guess you can't do it without it being plugged in. It just kind of gets drawn down there. But that's really cool. Can't wait. Alright, so let's get this plugged into some power. The LED light is green, which means we're in business! I'm going to take them up on their cleaning cloth here, because this thing is already dirty. We gotta get it nice and shiny for our presentation, guys! Like, I was planning to have this on forever, but with it saying it might overheat after five minutes depending on what's on it or something, I'm kind of scared now. What if it starts fire? I don't know. Alright, there we go. Got it nice and clean. And now, we have the pad here. Let me see. Jeez. I feel like that's gonna break doing that. Is there some kind of secret here? Where'd that manual go? During the putting down phase, the tray must stay horizontal condition. You should aim the central position precisely. Okay, this isn't as cool as I thought. This is hard. You actually have to, like, get it perfectly aligned. I don't know why I expected it to just start floating. <laughs> and this isn't really working. I don't know if this one's defective or what, but it's not doing it! <laughs> I did it! Oh, that's really cool. Can I put a piece of paper under it or will it mess it up? Let's find out. Whoa! It's magic! Now that was complicated. See how hard that was? That's actually really cool though. No strings attached, guys. How did I do that? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it fall. So now, get rid of that. This is where things get interesting. We're going to test out how much weight it can actually hold. It says up to 350 grams, so I have a couple of things to try out. First things first, we're going to try the lightest thing that I have, my Apple Watch. This right here is about 80 grams. It's the gold stainless steel model. Although it's metal, I don't know if that's a good idea to put it on there actually. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea to put it on there. Let me just take it back and put it on my wrist. I like how I accidentally put it on there really easily. Oh! I did it! I guess it just takes some practice. Eventually you'll figure it out. I guess I'll start with what I was going to do. I'm going to try to levitate myself, just like I said. I got this bobblehead here. It weighs about 240 grams, so it should definitely work. It, although it is kind of big. Just... Ah! <laughs> Come on, that's what I wanted to levitate on here. You're telling me it's not going to fit? Oh, I did it that time. Let me see. Got to get it like right in the center. Uh, that is so scary every time that happens. It's so loud. 
So far, everything I've tried isn't working. There is metal in this, though, I guess, so maybe that's why. It's throwing it off. Jeez, I can't do anything I wanted. I was in my next thing. My next thing. My next thing was going to be this Bluetooth speaker because this weighs exactly 350 grams, which is the weight limit, but it has metal in it too. Then I was going to try my iPhone, which should work, but that has metal in it. I'm kind of disappointed. There's nothing I can do. Okay, I have a dry erase board eraser. It works. Yay! Okay. Come on, what's something else I could do? Okay, let's try to get... I don't know, I have a piece of plastic. As you can see, it slowly spins around. Come on, I wanted to do the bobblehead. Here we go, I got a bottle of water. If I saw a water bottle floating, I'd be surprised. Ah! I mean, this is pretty cool, but it's really limited to what you can do with it if you can't put anything metal on it. Okay, how about this? I got a cup of donuts. Okay, it's kind of dented. Ah! Is it going to keep spinning or just kind of go back and forth? I guess it's just going back and forth. But we got it floating! Look at that! No wires. I'm afraid to put my fingers under it. It's going to crush them. I mean, that's cool. Got some lotion here. Well, that was an easy one. What? You can move the base and it stays floating? Should I go as far as picking it up? Oh, I have the power of levitation in my hands. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Well, well, well. Anyone else impressed with my magnetic abilities? If you have this on at night and it overheats and comes crashing down or something, it's gonna scare you to death. So, I guess I'll just leave you guys with this. Some floating donuts. If you guys want to pick one of these up, it's kind of cool if you figure out how to use it, but it's also very stressful. It's getting kind of warm just from using it right now. We haven't really had anything floating on it this whole time, but you know, science. It's cool. It's crazy. It's like magic, but it's science, so you can actually explain how it's working. I remember, it's pretty cool. Look at that. No wires, although it is kind of warm. Ah! But we got floating donuts, guys. What else could you ask for other than floating the fuck? The bobble. Other than floating the bobblehead, but we got floating lotion, guys. Woo! I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed. I can't float anything I wanted to float on it, but I guess it's science and that's how it works. Metal, magnetic, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys can pick one up.